Hi, here is Liplandi and these are Defenders of the Planets, made by Sparkle in 1985. But first, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our channel and share this video, help us building this huge vintage toys archive. Well, this is quite obviously a line of knockoffs of the fantastic Masters of the Universe action figures made by Mattel starting from 1982. Right after the incredible success of He-Man and his fellow Masters of the Universe, many smaller toy companies tried to imitate those kind of action figures. And probably the most famous example of imitations of the Masters of the Universe, one of the first, were the Galaxy Warriors made by Sangold. And after that the toy market was hit by a tsunami of imitations of the Masters of the Universe. A very few of them were totally original with new sculpts and new designs, but for the most part many toy companies tried to clone the bodies made by Sangold or some parts and designs from Mattel. And of course Sangol, just like Remco and many other of those companies, reused the same bodies also to make cheap wrestling action figures. And in that universe of cheap barbarians and monsters, somehow the Defenders of the Planets by Sparkle managed to stand out, partially because of some good design ideas and partially because at least Sparkle gave us a backstory for these characters and a small bio for each one of them. On the back of the packages we can read that Earth's solar system is threatened by evildoers of star systems far away. Orion and the defenders of the planets must stop Zardum and evildoers from entering the galaxy of Earth and her sister planets. And below this short synopsis we had pictures of the actual toys available in the line, each one with its name and a short description of the character. It was not common for bootleg toys and knockoff action figures put in such effort in designing the packaging. Most of the times you only had rough sketches of the figures and you had to consider yourself lucky if they had names. The whole toy line consisted of these six action figures and four horrible very simple creatures, even though each creature was available in two versions, either with a leash or with a saddle, and the two versions were sold as different monsters. Also some multi-packs were available with uh, more than one action figure at once or with an action figure and one creature and also a bag of loose accessories. So let's start from Orion, he's the least interesting of the bunch and he's described as the invincible commander of solar system forces, leader of the defenders of the planets. While for the Galaxy Warriors Sangold came up with an entirely new body, it was a new sculpt, it was horrible but at least it was not cloned from someone else's property, even though it was trying to resemble the fantastic body made by Mattel for He-Man and company, well Sparkle did not put as much effort in those molds, in fact we have an upper body which was modified from the Sangold one and the lower part of the body is cloned from the Mattel one. Sparkle's heads are totally original though and Orion's one is a horrible rendition of the classic square-jawed blonde hero. As it was common back in the 1980s we have a hollowed out uh, soft rubber head and a more rigid body. The quality on these figures is very poor. The mold seams are way too visible on the limbs and the articulations don't always work properly. They can move the head from side to side, move the arms forwards and backwards, they can rotate at the waist and they have all jointed legs which are held in position by rubber bands just like the uh, bodies that Mattel made for Masters of the Universe even though on these figures the quality is uh, much worse than on the Mattel ones. In fact we have these black spots around the rubber bands pretty much on every figure. Orion's chest armor is totally original but it works exactly as He-Man's one. The paint applications are terrible. Orion comes with a shield which is cloned from the uh, Sun Gold's Galaxy Warriors and with a Zord, which is cheap and miserable, but at least is totally original. Then we have Weapons Master, Defender General of the Outer Planets. 
His body is the same as Orion's, with He-Man's hips and legs, and Sangol's arms and chest, even though the chest has been modified from the Sangol version. But the design for his helmet is quite good. It wouldn't be surprising seeing this design amongst the others in the original Mattel line. Of course, with this helmet we can't move his head anymore, but we still have all of the other articulations. Weapons Master comes with a wheeled mace and with a shield that is exactly the same as Orion's, but this time it is made in a silver plastic. And this is Strongarm, Defender General of Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, so he is very specific about the planets he will defend. His body is, for the most part, the same as Orion's, but somehow he lost an arm in battle, so it's been replaced with a robotic one, which this time will be able to move the elbow. Look at this, wow! So this time we have one more point of articulation. He comes with a shield, which is once again the same as the others, and he's got a chest armor, which he will share with one of the bad guys. And then we have the three bad guys who actually call themselves evildoers from star systems far away. This is their leader Zardum, ruler of star system towers, leader of evildoer forces. He also comes with a standard regular human body, the same as Orion's, while the head is totally new. And overall, I think that this design and system of colors works. It's not that bad, it looks like someone who might come from the original Masters of the Universe line. He's wearing an original chest armor, and he comes with a scepter and with a shield on top of which they have printed the face of one of his henchmen. I don't know why. Canis Major, Savage Beast from the Dog Star. This is a very good one. The upper part of the body is the same as the others, but the lower one has been modified. They have changed the design of the hips. In fact, instead of a fur, we have scales, and the lower part of the legs has got furry monster boots, which seem to have been made modifying the original skeleton's legs. Also, the pattern on his belt has been changed, and I like it, but his head is what he stands out for. It looks fantastic. It's a very good design, horrible, terrifying, and uh, well made, nice. His chest armor is the same as Strong Arms, and he must be some sort of an egomaniac. In fact, his scepter and his shield both have representations of his face. And at last we have Quasar, Twisted Henchman of Arcturus. His legs are identical to Canis Meyer's ones, but the hips and chest and right arm are the same as the other characters. His left arm is totally new though, and it seems to be wearing some sort of a mechanical glove. And then of course we have this terrible three-horned head. Quasar only comes with a shield, on top of which they have put a sticker with a picture of his skull. And here they are, the Defenders of the Planets, made by Sparkling1985. This is not a brilliant toy line by any means, of course, they are just knockoffs, which are taking some bits and parts from here and there. But I've always thought of the various He-Man knockoffs as an extension of the original Mattel universe, additional monsters and creatures populating the streets of Eternia. And in this perspective, the defenders of the planets are quite brilliant. They stand above the other imitations, partially because they are more compatible with the original Mattel ones, because they are sharing the same lower body, and that's not a good thing, but when you are playing with them as a kid, you don't bother too much. And also because they've got some very cool original designs, which won't look bad next to some of the Mattel ones. Sadly, quality on these figures is not top notch, so uh, they are more delicate than the actual masters of the universe, but back when they came out in 1985 they were solid enough to be played with without bothering too much. It's just one more set of very cool knockoff action figures that we are very happy to have in our toy collection. 
And as always, if you liked this video, please click on the like button, share it, subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments below. We will answer to all of you. Ciao!